according to his meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has nothing to fear. Because every night he is balancing his books, he is checking his account, and he's looking to his Lord, and he's settling everything. Every night is judgment day for him. He judges himself. And that believer is not going to be swayed by panic. The believer is not going to be swayed by what the whole world is doing, whether it is whole world is happy, is not going to move him. Whole world is sad, is not going to move him. He is going to look to his Lord to see whether his Lord is happy or sad with him. Especially in these days. Don't be busy with other things, be busy with yourself to see today did I please my Lord or not. If you please your Lord today, and if you know that your Lord is pleased with you today, if you are counting the blessings and the mercies of your Lord today, and you're putting your head down and say, what a silly, ungrateful creature I am. I'm worrying about so many things, but my Lord is sending so much mercy and blessings. You do that, your heart will find peace, your heart will find satisfaction. Even in the middle of the fire, your heart will find satisfaction because you're saying, not doctor, not vaccine, not husband, not wife, not anything, not money. You're looking to Allah because you're saying, Hasbin Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Hasbin Allah wa ni'mal wakil. My Lord is enough for me. This is the prayer of our father Ibrahim alayhi salam. When the angels came to him to help him, when he was thrown mid-air into the fire, and he's saying, my Lord is enough for me. He is not worried. Because his heart, whatever there is in your heart, it will show. If your heart is filled with fire, it will show with your speech, it will show with your actions, it will show with the people around you. You're just going to cause fire. Your heart is at peace. You're only going to find gardens around you. You're going to put gardens around you. You're going to have people who are at peace. Whatever that is in your heart, it will come out, don't you see? So look to your heart. Put there the remembrance of your Lord to know that your Lord is enough for you. Cultivate that garden. Don't let it to be overrun by weeds and rocks and other kinds of things. Keep it nice and neat and clean and beautiful. Keep that garden. And when that garden is in your heart, in the middle of the fire, you'll find nothing but roses around you. Which is why the prophets and the saints, they may be li living the most challenging, the most difficult lives. There's fire all around them, people who hate them, betrayal from within, tests. But their heart is always in satisfaction. Their heart is always with Allah. There is a garden there. And those who are sincere around them, they feel that. Time to time, they may be very tough. They say, this weed grown deep inside, you have to pull it out. But that is for you again, it's not for them. Understand this, inshallah, Rahman. Our Lord is greater than anything. And this is a reminder for us. A believer must take it as a reminder that our Lord is great. And we, we are the weakest ones. A reminder for us to say, La ilaha illa anta, subhanaka inni kuntum min zalimin. La ilaha illa anta. There is no ilah except for you. Directly we are talking to Allah. Glory is to you. And I'm the one, I'm one of those who oppress my own selves. Never think Allah is oppressing you. 
we are the ones who are oppressing our own selves. May Allah make us to have more intelligence and more faith in these times. May we come out better in our faith, stronger in dunya and akhirat, inshallah. May Allah raise the station of our shaykh higher and higher. And may his shafaat and his himmat reach to us, dunya and akhirat, inshallah. May Allah forgive me and bless you. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>